Welcome to module two, video two, from the safe and effective use of AI in education online resources. Previously, we introduced the concept of the black box system, where we consider our inputs, the process, and then the output of an AI system. In this video, we'll look more closely at how we input or prompt generative AI systems. There are several types of AI system you're likely to come across. There are generic chatbot type products which you prompt via text or speech, or you might upload an image or video to provide a set of instructions. It then responds with an output in the format you've requested. But AI can also be integrated into existing software. Some examples of this include word processing software with predictive text, integrated chatbot features, personalized learning tools, data insight tools integrated into management information systems, AI agents integrated into computer operating systems or suites of educational apps, or voice assistants. In this module, we'll be focusing specifically on generative AI through chatbots, such as ChatGPT, Gemini, and Copilot. When we want generative AI to create new content for us, we make that request by providing a prompt. If you've never used a generative AI tool before, it really is as easy as sending a text message, where you type in a message and click send. A prompt can be thought of as a question or a set of instructions that we give to the AI system. In simple terms, the more detailed our prompt, the better the output. We can refine the outputs with further prompts. And remember, our prompt might be asking for the output in the form of text, images, video, audio, or code. Not all AI systems will be able to output in all of these formats. Take assessment, for example. We might use generative AI to create a set of multiple choice questions. We could enter the prompt into the AI system, create a set of multiple choice questions for light. The AI system will then predict, based on its prior training, what output we are most likely to want. We may get a response that resembles what we're trying to create, but it may not be fit for purpose. In this example, we've given very limited detail, and therefore the AI system is predicting the outputs that we want based on the limited information in our prompt. We can improve this with more detail. If we add key pieces of information, such as year group, phase, subject, number of questions, and mark scheme, for example, the generative AI is likely to produce a far more appropriate output. Our prompt might read, create a 10 question multiple choice quiz, include the answer key. This is based on the UK national curriculum for year three science, the topic is light. This is far more likely to give an accurate response which will require less editing and review of the output. To summarize, the prompt is the instruction you give a generative AI system to produce an output. High quality detailed inputs will make it more likely that you'll get better quality outputs. If the output isn't good enough, you can review and edit the prompt to improve the generated content. We could improve the output even further by using a dedicated tool that's grounded in the national curriculum in England and has safety features built in. Ayla from Oak National Academy is designed to support teachers by helping to create high quality curriculum aligned resources. While a general AI language model can generate teaching materials, it may not produce results that are fully aligned with the curriculum. Ayla, however, is specifically grounded in the national curriculum in England, making it more likely to generate appropriate and relevant content for teachers. Ayla has been designed to produce curriculum aligned content. It will encourage us to get the best results by requesting key details, such as the subject, year group, number of questions, and mark scheme. By improving our prompt, we are more likely to get an effective output from an AI system. Or by using a specific tool like Ayla instead of a general AI tool, teachers can be confident that the content they generate is built on curriculum principles reducing the time spent reviewing and adapting materials whilst ensuring high quality classroom resources.